Hey guys, it's Coach DeVore from Tennis House. In today's video, it will be a quick video and I'm just going to point out one important thing that recreational players do when they hit their forehand, especially the beginner players. And that's the take back of the racket on the forehand side without the coil. So I'm going to tell you, show you one thing you can do to make sure you, you reinforce the coil and let's get straight to it guys so on the forehand you see a lot of times players they move and they have the racket back here but they're actually not coiling the upper body so what it does is you will most likely start to muscle the ball when you hit your forehand so the forehand will not look smooth in order to make you look smooth you need to make sure that's when you see the pros that they keep the left hand long on the racket heart or throat so when they go the left hand manipulates the racket and it stays on until you have a coil and a pre-stretch in the muscles up there in the back. So when you feel this here, you know you coiled enough and you turned enough. So now when the ball is bouncing, that's when you initiate your hip snap. So you let the arm go a little bit, the hip will snap in. That will make the racket head drop into the lag phase and then you go up and hit that ball. So that's very important that you know that when the left hand stays long on and you coil an upper body that you're going to have a smoother forehand and most likely you're going to be able to control the ball better as well because you're engaging the lower and the upper body in your forehand shot. So next time you go out there just try to keep the left hand long on the racket heart and you should have a little bit better forehand when you hit that ball. 